Hi there traders and investors, today is Tuesday, September 19. I'm glad to present you with a fresh market review prepared for InstaForex. Today, the inflation report in the Eurozone came in lower than expected, although these figures do not seem to influence traders' sentiment. All eyes will be on tomorrow's meeting of the Federal Open Market Committee and its decision on interest rates. Therefore, the market is trading cautiously today ahead of this important event. Now let's discuss some trading ideas for today and the rest of the week. On the weekly time frame, gold has formed a pin board, as someone may call a correction. The bullish tendency is clearly observed here. If it goes like this, gold may easily form a new high of the past three weeks. This move might not happen instantly, but the chances are high. Overall, gold stays in an upward trend, even though it forms some downward corrective waves on its way. The current trading setup indicates an engulfing pattern which may result in a strong breakout tomorrow following the results of the first meeting. Now let's talk about possible entry points. I was planning to go long at the reversal point by, but unsuccessfully. The levels I previously outlined are no longer relevant. At the moment, the price has stopped at a potential pivot point suggesting a fall. It may well go through a downward correction from here, providing a good entry point after a pullback. It would be great to open buy positions in this range. I'm a bit skeptical about this scenario, although I understand that anything can happen during the FOMC meeting. Anyway, the main idea is to trade on a pullback. Please know that gold rebounded from a bullish reversal point that dates back to August. You don't necessarily have to go short, but if you see a good entry point for buying the asset, grab this opportunity. As for the USD CAD pair, it has broken below the stop loss orders set by the bulls, just as I have predicted. Now the price is sliding down towards the bullish reversal points observed throughout the week. The instrument may trade flat at this point. For the first half of the year, buyers have been accumulating long positions on the pair, but all of them were cancelled at stop-loss orders. The trend then turned bearish, leaving many traders with losses. Meanwhile, the euro-dollar pair tricked the bears who were hoping to develop a downward yesterday. The price jumped to the upside previously. The trading idea for this entertainment was based on the pin bar pattern formed at the lows from where the price has been rising for the third consecutive day now. I don't think the pair will develop a strong movement today. Most likely, it will enter a sideways channel ahead of the major event tomorrow. I would like to see the pair reaching the highs found at 1.0770. This is the level that was once hit on the news. So it's very likely that the price will test the range during the FOMC meeting. As for the entry point, I was possible to enter the market at the bullish reversal point. If so, you might have gained a profit of 542 pips from this trade. On the flip side, sellers may face the resistance I have marked on the chart. The price may approach this level and then start trading flat. All stop-loss orders set by the sellers have been triggered. So profit taken on long positions can be observed in this area. The GBP-USD pair has been hovering at the lows, given no trading signals or wave patterns. So I see no curious trading ideas for now. On the 15-minute time frame, we can observe some corrective movements with no reversal signals on the horizon. As for the USD-JPY pair, it continues to decline, heading for the level of 147. Those of you who bought the pair at the highs are suffering now as the yen stopped rising. On Friday, the pair closed below its historic highs. Today, bulls made several attempts to hit the highs, but failed to do so. After that, the dollar-yen pair is likely to move lower in the coming sessions. That's all for today. See you next week.